Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. If you're listening to this on iTunes, please be sure to leave a review. This week's topic is when should you sleep with a new guy that you just started dating? And I would have to say this is one of the top three questions that I'm constantly asked. Women always want to know this. But the fact is, that's not what you really want to know. What you're really asking is, when is the perfect time to sleep with a guy so that I don't wait too long and he gets impatient and he doesn't want to see me anymore, or I sleep too soon and he thinks I'm a tramp? The problem with that line of thinking is that you're assuming and you're giving him all the power in the situation, thinking it's all about him And I need to find the perfect time, otherwise this isn't going to work out. The fact is, if someone is interested, they will wait until you're ready. They will wait as long as it takes. I've asked this question of guys over social media many, many times. Back in the day on MySpace, I've asked it several times on Facebook. And it's always the same response. At least 90% of the guys say, if they're really into a woman they will wait as long as it takes. Yes, ladies, even months. Back when I had my radio show, I had a player on my show, and he talked about all the women he had sex with, and how he had sex with them so soon. However, he said when he met the woman that he eventually proposed to, he wasn't even thinking about sex. He didn't care when he had sex with her on a certain level because he had put her up on a pedestal. She was above the rest, And it wasn't about sex. It was about creating a relationship. And so he wasn't going to try to get her into bed as soon as possible. So here's some reasons why you need to wait besides the one, the main one that I already gave you. First of all, think of it this way. Would you lend your car to someone you just met or someone you barely know? I know you're probably laughing right now and you're thinking, no, of course not. So why would you do it with your body? It's the most intimate thing you have. You only get one. If something happens to your body, you don't get another one. So you need to treat it better or at least just as well as you would treat your car. Secondly, if you sleep with someone on the first date or in the first few dates, you really don't know who he is. He's sending along his representative. So you don't know if he's married, You don't know if he's a criminal. You don't know if he has an STD. You don't know if he has a girlfriend. You don't know if he's just in town for a week or a few weeks and he actually lives in another country. You really don't know that much about him. So you don't want to bond yourself to someone until you at least get to know them a bit more. Also, he might assume that you do this with everyone, that you sleep with someone that you like on the first date always or on the third date and so then he feels well you know she can't be trusted to control herself and so he can't take you seriously when women when men are seriously looking for a partner and no one tells you this but this is what they're thinking I need someone who has control over herself because you know if he's out of town or something happens to him he needs someone that can take care of business and that includes being able to take control of situations and not just being swayed by her emotions. And when you sleep with him right away, you're being swayed by your emotions because you like him so much that you're not stopping to exercise self-discipline. So subconsciously, he's thinking she can't really be trusted because she can't control herself. Also, that urge to have sex, I know it's very strong because that comes from Mother Nature. Mother Nature wants you to have sex as soon as possible. She's not thinking, is this a good guy for her? Is this going to work out? Mother Nature is just interested in continuing the human race. And so they're just interested in people having sex. It doesn't matter if they get along, if they're compatible or not. Also, we have our nice hormone that I love to hate, oxytocin, (laughs) which bonds you to him before... You're emotionally bonded to him. So your body is craving sex with this person that you barely know and that you barely have an emotional attachment to. And it doesn't work the same as men on men because they have testosterone. So while you have um, 
sex with a guy and you're bonded to him for two weeks because of oxytocin, a guy feels the bond for about two days. Now, I know that a lot of women, they feel anxious if they don't get the sex part over with because they feel pressure from themselves, from society, and from the guy. And so they think, okay, let me just get this over with. And that's really sad to think that they're doing it just to get it over with. Sex shouldn't be something that you do just to get it over with and just to continue on so you don't feel pressure. Because if you're going to feel anxious and pressure about that, then you're going to be putting pressure on yourself about other things in the relationship. It should be on your terms when you're ready, not because you feel, I need to do this sooner rather than later or he's going to leave. If he leaves, great. He wasn't really intending to stick around in the first place. So you want him to leave. And this is a great way to find out who's really serious about you and who just wants to have sex with you. Because someone who just wants to have sex with you, generally, they're really not going to wait because sex is so readily available these days that why would they stick around if they're just looking for sex? They won't. And also keep in mind that guys do want to chase. They really don't want to have sex too soon. A woman was telling me the story about um, a guy. He's uh, very successful, very good looking, and he has all these women who are also successful, attractive, who are chasing him and having sex with him immediately, and he is bored. <laughs> so if someone comes along and they actually say, you know what? this doesn't work for me, I'm not gonna have sex right away. She'll probably get his attention. Not because she's trying to be different, but because she's showing herself to be a high value woman with standards and she's not going to let anything pressure her into doing something so intimate as have sex until she's ready. So then what are the rules, if there are rules, regarding when to have sex with a new guy? So first of all, you want to make sure that he cares about you, that he sees the real you and he's interested in you as a person, not just you as a sex object, not just you as someone that he can have sex with. You want to make sure that he's into you and you'll know it because if you don't know it, if you're wondering, if you're questioning, that means he's not because I'm sure you know from the past that when someone's into you, you know it. You're telling all your friends, yeah, he's really into me, he's really into me. But if you're like, hmm, I don't know, I'm just wondering, if you're asking a lot of questions, then he's probably not into you at the level that he should be if you're going to have sex. And secondly, if you want a committed relationship, then you need to ask for one before you have sex. Because otherwise, if you have sex first, hoping that it will lead to a committed relationship, now you can't really be yourself now you're campaigning for a relationship. You're trying to show what a wonderful girlfriend you would be. Look at me. I'm a, I'd be a wonderful girlfriend. And you should have negotiated that beforehand. Women are notoriously bad at negotiating in life and in relationships. And relationships are negotiated. So if you want a commitment, you need to ask for it beforehand. And that will distinguish whether he wants a commitment too or not. And so what you're going to say is, when he wants to have sex, you can say, thank you. However, I'm not comfortable being intimate unless I'm in a committed relationship. And if he says, okay, great, that doesn't mean you jump into bed, because he could say that two weeks in. But you still don't know him. He might just be saying that, okay, fine, we'll be committed. And then a week later, not see you anymore. So it's not just about being a committed relationship, that's step one. But also, as I said before, you need to feel that connection that he really sees you and he's really attracted to you as a person and not just someone to sleep with. So I know this is a lot of information. If you need to know more about this, if you're interested in private coaching on this topic or any other topic having to do with love, dating, or relationships, I am available for private coaching. You can find out more at my website, The Art of Love. Dot net. And in the meantime, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.